Hey, what's going on everybody? So we are about 12 hours post launch of the global servers for Ark Knights and my God, is this even more fun than I even remembered? Yeah, we're, we're flying right now, man. We're making great progress. Just to show off my kind of credentials on uh, what I kind of did. This is probably about eight and a half hours of progress for me. Uh, we have E1 EU Psy, uh, and E1 Kurosu, and E1 Melantha. These have been, oh my god, the, Melantha and Kurosu are nuts. EU Psy, yeah, obviously super nuts too. Uh, Meteorite, level 40, Skyfire 40, Silence 40, Texas 40, Zima, yada, yada, yada. I'll keep you all uh, posting my progress uh, for the weeks and months to come. Uh, but so far, yeah, we're flying. We're getting near to starting up Chapter 3. Um, yeah, in about eight and a half hours. Uh, we're kind of taking about a week's worth of progress that I did in the CN and almost doing it. I'll probably get all that shit done within two days. So people were asking me, how the hell am I progressing so quickly? Uh, and it's just kind of uh, going against what some of the people are saying on the Reddit and Discord uh, and kind of implementing my own strategy and then also compiling the best of the information that I found and just some things that I found that uh, has worked for me and uh, implementing that even more heavily in the guide. So let's talk about... Uh, everything that I'm doing and how to start absolutely flying through Arknights. So I've been hearing this shit a lot. And what I'm hearing is, is that people are highly recommending that nobody farms the supply drops. Okay. So like the place where you farm the EXP tickets, the, you know, the class mods, um, even the, once again, the EXP tickets and the currency. And here's the thing. It's kind of bullshit because well, people are swearing against me, like, oh, don't farm this shit, it's horrible. It's fine if you farm it in moderation. Like, do it for what you need. Like, if you just need a little bit of EXP tickets or a little bit of credits, yeah, go in there, farm it. If you need that to, like, get to a break point, fuck yeah, dude. Get in there, grind it for, like, I don't know, 30 minutes. It's fine. You can use, like, one uh, entire refresh on... Uh, on farming this shit. It's not really that big of a deal. If you spend like 80 to 100 sanity on this shit at the beginning, it's not the end of the world. And the other thing is, is that, well then, okay, when can I farm it? When you get to like the third stage on it, you can pretty much do it guilt free. Um, now, obviously the four stage is where it starts getting really good, but if you just want to grind for a night, if you just want to, if you just want to grind, right? Like you already pushed through all the content and you just want to grind a little bit as you go to bed. Yeah, you can find this on stage three, pretty much guilt-free, especially for the first day, man. For the first day, it's like people need to loosen up. You do whatever the hell you want on the first day, especially as long as you're just actively playing. You're going to be fine. Just make sure you get in there. If you do this, once again, it's not the end of the world. People need to loosen up. Everything is fine in moderation. Okay, gamers. It's time to put on your big boy pants and leave your mom's basement and go find some friends. Yes, you have a friends list in this game and you need to fill it up. Like on day one, have it filled up. It is crucial that you have that shit filled up because when you do that, you will be able to start farming clues faster. Now clues are very important. The way that friends help you um, get clues um, is that when they fill up all seven slots, uh, a little clue party will happen. You can go in there, get some free uh, friend points. And then also if your buddies have um, clues, they can actually fill in the pieces uh, that you need. And you can also fill in their pieces in order to trigger that event in order to get more friend points. That is incredibly important because then with the friend points, check this shit out, okay? You can actually get two extremely premier units. Well, relatively, you can get two very, very, very good units pretty much right off the bat. Courier, you can get him in like the first second. Let me just show him off real quick. So Courier is pretty much the better version of fang he can eat too which is actually awesome but he's going to require a lot more in order to get him there but once again vanguard he can block too he gets cp back uh, his next ability makes him tankier and makes him generate a shit ton of cp back uh he's really dope uh, his voice lines are really annoying uh but yeah he's definitely great or if you just need a second vanguard you can use fang and courier and they're gonna be able to block a shit ton their damage isn't the best but um they're definitely a very good vanguard uh definitely a little bit the courier is definitely a little bit worse than uh zima but uh regardless definitely great for beginner game and it doesn't matter if your unit isn't as good as another unit if you don't have that fucking unit so don't worry about it next thing is credit store uh when you go back there and after you spend 100 you will be half way to 200 and once you get to 200 you'll unlock gaviel now gaviel 
is a crocodile girl. She's a healer. So if you need a healer, you get 200, she'll unlock, you buy it, boom. You have yourself a nice healer as well. So you have a Vanguard and a healer that are four star, which means they can both E2 right off the bat. And yeah, by the way, that's really good at filling out your roster because hey, you need to have that shit well-rounded. I've already put out a guide um, for team comps in the beginner guide. I can go in more depth later, but for now, Having an extra core, or sorry, having an extra Vanguard, having an extra healer, that's really going to help you round out your roster. And that is something that I cannot overstate. You need to have a balanced roster. Look, I understand that re-rolling is very important. I get it. But as you can tell, dude, I settled with one six star for a reason. Like, I'm not trying to like be flashy, flashy. Oh, look how cool I am because I cleared all the content with all six stars. There's no point. Okay, there's no point. And let me tell you why. Because... E1-ing my AU Psy was such a pain. This shit took so much resources. The only reason why I did it is because I'm planning to use her for a future YouTube video. I'm a content creator, so I have to do dumb shit intentionally in order to show people why you shouldn't do that, okay? You should be using your three stars, and you should be using them vigorously. And four that I would actually like to recommend is Melantha, which is right here. By the way, if you haven't heard me talk about her, she doesn't do much, but what she does do is have incredible base stats. Her attack is one of the highest... Uh, in her category, especially as a three-star. It's insane. Actually, the highest attack base for a three-star. Absolutely insane. And I'm not done about why I'm recommending specifically three-stars. I will get to that once I'm done recommending things. We also have Cross, who's amazing. Her attack is also fine. Her procs are great. Her ability is good. And she's very cute. And she's an anti-air unit, which is something that you really, really, really need. If you don't know why, watch my beginner's guide. Um, but pretty much, boats are going to come that are flying in the air. You have to kill them. Otherwise, they're going to walk past all your units. Cross specifically targets them and will wipe them off the face of the fucking earth. Next off, we also have Hibiscus, which is great. She's a great healer. I know people don't really like her that much because, oh, she's a three-star and there are other options. But the thing is, dude, she's a three-star and she's pretty much free. And then once again, I will get to that. And also, if you don't like Hibiscus, you can also use this girl, who's actually a guy, uh, <laughs> which really caught me off guard. But you can use Anzel. And uh, Hibiscus and Anzel are interchangeable. Um, one has longer range. The other one has more of a little bit of a burst heal mechanic. So you can do whichever you like. Uh, personally, I prefer Hibiscus. But once again, Anzel is also great. Now, the reason why I say that you should be doing this is maybe if I have enough, I'll be able to show you. Do I have EXP tickets to do it? Please tell me I do. Yes, I do. Very nice. Thank God. Definitely should plan that but uh you know <laughs> first time content creator so we're gonna go here now when you get the max level you are allowed to promote your unit from e0 to e1 now for other units you are going to need uh lmd specific resources farming out like uh specific uh chips of your unit's um archetype yeah it's a lot of shit that you have to farm do you know what you need in order to promote um a three star from e0 to e1 Ten thousand. <laughs> 10,000 lug bed dollars. Yeah, by the way, that's not a lot. Uh, that's about, I don't know, four minutes of farming lug bed dollars. It's not bad. I'm gonna do that shit right now. This will unlock. She'll get a little bit better. I'll be able to juice her up even more for less EXP tickets than I would have had to normally. And she's gonna have a lot of extra shit. Now she's gonna be absolutely nuts. I'm gonna juice her right here. And as you can see, look at this, 10 tickets, a little bit here, already level 20 again, and her base stats are crazy crazy amounts higher now so yeah using three stars is so imperative for starting the early game and here's why because if you use these three stars to accelerate your progress at the beginning even temporarily that means that you can get to the stages that you need to get to that you can farm things better earlier and what i mean by that is sorry i just hate when people think oh six stars is how you win it drives me nuts and i'm not tilted okay i'm passionate if you can get to ls4 rather than farming ls3 by using a couple three stars in the early game then you can accelerate your progress drastically and your efficiency drastically even if you're using temporary units that required you literally barely anything to invest in so yes three stars are literally the name of the game quick side note all i hear is okay if you're free to play don't use your gold cubes. If you use your gold cubes, you're going to have to whale. Now, while that's relatively true, once again, it is fine if you use them in moderation. If you use like 10 or 15 of these at the beginning, like on the first day to accelerate your progress, to get to those, you know, little break points in order to farm things more efficiently, whether you just need to, you know, just grind it out and go to bed, it's fine. If you want to use like 10 to 15, you're going to get like 300 of these by the time you finish the entire story mode. So it's okay in the grand scheme of things. Don't use all of them, obviously, but you can use some. So don't don't buy into the fear-mongering. It's 
fine. You will get more later. There's not like, oh, you get 10 and that's it. It's, it's okay. It's fine. The reason why people say to hold on to them is so you can get skins, okay? It's literally, and also, if you don't give a shit about skins, fuck it. Do whatever you want. Okay, last tip. This isn't gonna be for everybody, but I just wanted to mention it because I felt like I should. Um, if you do want to support the company whatsoever, um, this 99 cent pack, this pack, Okay, you can, okay, trust me, take my word for it, it's 99 cents, okay? It's 99 cents. You go in here, you pay a dollar, you get Gummy. She's awesome, she's amazing. Uh, I love her, she's dope as shit. Uh, you get a free sum and you get 10,000 Lungman dollars and 20 practice records, it's a, dude, it's 99 cents. If you wanna spend that, you know, dip your toes, it's dope as shit. Uh, these packs are fine uh, to buy with the, uh, Oregano, if you want, the, the gold keeps if you want. Uh, they're actually pretty decent. Um, they give you some good value. Um, the monthly card is insane. Five dollars. Uh, you'll get six Originite Prime right off the bat. Every single day you get 200 around them. Um, and then you also get an emergency sandwich potion. So if you want to play this game a lot, five dollars a month. You don't have to, you can, it's insane value. You're gonna get 6,000 around them by the end of the month. It's nuts. And also, yeah, 30 refills. It's a pretty damn good value. I recommend it for anybody, you know, light spenders, go for it. Just giving somebody some suggestions. I know everybody's like, oh, you gotta be free to play. But it's like, hey man, if you wanna support the company, thank you, because you know, that's what keeps the updates coming. So thank you. And also uh, the headhunting pack is also great too. Uh, one of my viewers actually bought this shit for me. And once again, thanks so much. Okay, uh, I got a little bit passionate during that video. <laughs> uh, dude, stream was awesome today. Uh, YouTube's going great. We're about to hit 30K subs, which is insane to me. Um, but hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. These tips, it just drives me nuts, man. Like people take this shit weirdly where they say one shit and mean the other. And I don't know, it's like, don't do this, but it's also like, well, if I do do this, it's actually fine. But these guys are telling me that I'm not. But it's kind of just like putting into perspective of where the advice makes sense because it's very hard to give advice that's just universal. You have to target when that advice is best taken. Uh, regardless, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, more videos to come, more streams to come. Uh, yeah, fucking Arknights is awesome, dude. Uh, anywho, I've been Tecto and y'all have a great. Hope you're all having a damn good one. Hope you're enjoying Arknights. It's been going great. OB today. And as always, peace.